The GPU wars are heating up again, and this time, AMD has fired the first shot of 2025. Welcome to the next chapter in high performance gaming. The Radeon RX 970 XT has officially entered the arena, and it's bringing more than just raw power. It's delivering better efficiency, smarter architecture, and some real surprises. For gamers, content creators, and tech enthusiasts, this new card isn't just another number, it might just be the smartest upgrade of the year. So, let's dive deep. We're going to unpack everything you need to know about the RX 970 XT. From the real world benchmarks to its power usage, design choices, and why it may quietly be AMD's best GPU in years, let's start with what makes this card special. The RX 970 XT is based on AMD's new RDNA for architecture. If you've been following the Radian story for the last few years, you'll know RDNA has been a game changer. RDNA to brought us ray tracing, RDNA 3 improved efficiency. And now RDNA 4 is here, aiming to push the envelope even further. What does that mean in real world terms? It means faster games, smoother frame rates, and less heat. All while drawing less power than before, it means gaming at 4000 without compromising on details. It means future proofing your setup for years to come. Dot at launch, AMD made a bold claim. They said the RX 970 XT wouldn't just be fast, it would be smarter, cooler, and more consistent. And after weeks of early testing and leaked benchmarks, it looks like they may have delivered. Dot so, what's inside the card? Let's break it down. The Radeon RX 970 XT is built with 4,960 stream processors. It features a base clock of around 252, is and a boost clock that reaches a blistering 3.0 GHz. That's a significant jump over the previous generation and puts it neck and neck with even some of Nvidia's best GPUs. And that's not all. The RX 970 XT is equipped with 16 GB of GDDR6 RAM. That's more than enough for today's most demanding games and more than capable for future titles, especially as game assets and textures continue to grow in size, high-resolution textures, complex geometry, massive open-world games. This card can handle them all dot but raw specs don't tell the full story. Let's talk about performance. In 4K gaming tests, the RX 970 XT performs consistently well. In title after title, it edges out the RX 7900 XT by a few percent. It's not a huge leap, but it's a real one. We're seeing gains of around 3 to 7 percent in most AA games. That may not sound massive, but in high-end gaming, even a few extra frames per second can make a difference especially when you're pushing for ultra settings with ray tracing enabled. What's even more impressive is that the RX 970 XT is achieving these gains while using less power. That's right. AMD has finally cracked the power to performance puzzle. The RX 970 XT delivers more frames per watt than any Radeon card before it. This is great news for gamers with compact builds. If your PC case doesn't have room for three fans and liquid cooling, this card will still keep its cool dot. In fact, thermals are one of the most impressive aspects of this GPU dot tests on the ASUS variant show that the card maintains high boost clocks. Without breaking a sweat, temperatures remain stable even during long play sessions. And fan noise is surprisingly low. For players who want quiet performance or for those who record, stream, or create content while gaming this matters, let's pause for a moment and appreciate what AMD has achieved here dot with the RX 970 XT. They're not just delivering more speed, they're delivering smarter performance. And that's important. Because in today's market, raw power alone isn't enough. Dot gamers want efficiency. They want silent fans. They want cooler systems. They want reliability over long hours of play. And the RX 970 X seems to deliver all of that in a surprisingly well-balanced package. Now let's talk about one of the biggest surprises. Dot power draw. Despite its performance gains, 
The RX 970 XT draws less power under load than the 7900 XT. It uses around 329 watts during heavy gaming. That's higher than some expected, but still impressively efficient for a card of this class. In synthetic benchmarks like 3D MARK Time Spy and Speedway, the RX 970 XT outperforms even Nvidia's RTX. 4080 Super in some tests. Gains of 6 to 8% in raw performance metrics show that AMD has closed the gap and in some areas, taken the lead. This raises an important question. Is this card worth it? Let's talk price. And has hinted at an MSRP of around $600. That's right in the high mid-range market, targeting gamers who want premium performance without spending $1,000 or more. Compared to NVIDIA's similarly priced cards, the RX 970 XT offers better value in terms of memory size, power efficiency, and raw FPS in many scenarios. And then there's future proofing. Games are getting bigger, more demanding. And with the rise of AI, ray tracing, and high resolution textures, having extra VRAM and bandwidth is no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. The RX 970 XT gives you room to grow. So, whether you're upgrading an aging GPU or building a new system, this card makes a strong case. Now, let's dive a little deeper into gaming performance. At 1440p, which is still the sweet spot for many gamers, the RX 970 XT and 7900 XT perform very closely. The gap is smaller here, often just a few frames per second. But that's not a bad thing. It means AMD is squeezing out more performance at the same resolution, with better efficiency. Games like Cyberpunk 2077, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Hogwarts Legacy all run exceptionally well. Ultra settings, ray tracing on, and still comfortably. Above 60 frames per second at 1440p. That's the kind of experience gamers want. No stutters, no compromise. Just smooth, high-fidelity gameplay, but the RX 970 XT really shines when you move to 4K. This is where that extra bandwidth, clock speed, and efficiency start to matter more. And this is where you begin to see AMD's design philosophy take shape. Rather than chasing huge headline numbers, they focused on balance. On making sure that each watt of power turns into playable performance, on ensuring that even under Maximum load, the GPU stays cool and quiet. On building a card that doesn't just win in benchmarks but wins in your setup, on your desk, inside your rig, this kind of attention to detail is something we haven't always seen from AMD in the past, but it's clear now they've been listening. Let's go back to the architecture for a moment. Our DNA for isn't just an upgrade, it's a redesign. AMD has rebuilt how shaders work, how power is distributed across the chip, how cooling interacts with frequency, and they've optimized the silicon to be smarter, not just stronger. The result? A GPU that feels agile, one that adapts to different workloads. Whether you're gaming, streaming, or editing, the RX 970 XT adjusts in real time to deliver consistent output, and consistency is key because no one wants a GPU that performs well in benchmarks, but lags in real gameplay. The RX 970 XT proves itself not just on paper, but where it matters most. In the games you play every day. Now let's address a common question. Who is this card for? If you're gaming at 1080p or 1440p, this card may be more power than you need. But if you want to future-proof your system, or you plan to play upcoming titles with heavy graphics loads, it's a smart investment. If you're a content creator, working in 4K video, 3D rendering, or animation, the extra RAM and speed will save you time and frustration. And if you're a competitive gamer who needs every frame to count, this card delivers the stability and responsiveness you want, and has made it clear, the RX 970 XT isn't just for enthusiasts. It's for smart builders, for gamers who care about performance, but also about balance, about thermals, about noise, about efficiency. 
It's for people who want a GPU that just works and works well for years to come. Now let's briefly touch on drivers and software. Early builds of AMD's drivers for our DNA4 are already very stable. But more improvements are coming, like with all new GPU generations, we can expect continued optimization over the next few months. That means performance will likely improve further as game developers fine-tune their engines for this architecture and has also doubled down on software features. Their adrenaline software suite continues to improve with tools for overclocking, monitoring, and game capture. Radiant Boost, Anti-Lag, and Super Resolution are now better integrated and easier to use. For gamers who want full control without complicated tools, this matters. All of these things add up to something simple but important, a better gaming experience, not just faster, but smoother, quieter, more reliable. The RX 970 XT may not be the latest launch of the year, but it might just be the most thoughtful, the most refined. And in the long run, that may be what truly matters. So let's wrap up this section. The Radeon RX 970 XT is more than a spec sheet. It's a signal. A statement from AMD that performance doesn't have to come with compromises, that power and efficiency can exist together. That you don't have to spend over a thousand dollars to enjoy top tier gaming in 20 to 5. It's a sign of where things are going smarter GPUs, better software, and more options for gamers everywhere. If AMD can keep this momentum going and all signs suggest they will then to 5 could be the year Radian takes the lead again. And for now, the RX 970 XT is proof that AMD still knows how to surprise us in all the right ways.